I also want to talk about this arrow. I use this quite a bit. And for some reason, many of you have not seen it before. I don't know why. You're going to see it a lot from here on out. It is not an equal sign. It is an arrow. And what it means is this leads to that. You go from this to that. It's not an equal sign, but you can get from one directly to the other. Last time we finished by talking about the concept that dimensions are your what class? Right. Good, I'm glad you remember. We talked about base units for SI and English. You will remember most of them, but the one that you will remember most, Mike, is the one, the base English unit for mass. Is the slug. You didn't know it before, but now you know. The base English unit for mass is the slug. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a bunch of conversions. Well, actually, we need to do this first. Sorry. One little thing. No, this I borrow this phrase from Bill Dix. No naked numbers. No naked numbers. In other words, anytime you give an answer, you need to make sure that that answer is clothed in a dimension, in a unit. This is true for about the first month, month and a half, then we'll have our first naked number, but it's a very good place to start. The idea that whenever you give an answer, you need to make sure you have no naked Conversions. We're going to start with a simple conversion. We're going to convert from 11 <coughs> millimeters to meters. 11 millimeters to meters. How are we going to convert from 11 millimeters to meters? Alejandro. Yeah. Please convert. 11 millimeters into meters. You want it. Okay. So you put 0 0.001 on the bottom. 0 0.001 meters for one meter. I'll put it. It's I'm sorry, what am I going to write here? One meter. Multiply times one meter. Well, no. 11 <laughs> millimeters. Multiplied by fraction bar. <laughs> <laughs> fraction bar? <laughs> Are you referring to this thing? No. Are you referring to. I don't know what fraction bar is. <laughs> one meter over 0 0.001 millimeters. Like so? Yeah. Okay. That's what you mean. You do not need to go directly to send, you don't have to go to thread the centimeters first, you can go directly to meters, that's fine. But this this isn't right. Yet. That's okay. We're gonna figure it out. Brad. Well, since there's a thousand millimeters in a meter. Wait, wait. One thousand millimeters equals one meter. Yeah, you divide uh, eleven millimeters by a thousand. Aha! So I'm just gonna take eleven meters, millimeters, and I'm gonna divide by a thousand. Like so. That's magic. We don't do magic in this class. We do physics. We do math. Okay? We can't just take this number and divide it by a thousand. Okay? There's going to be a big difference between what you're going to do there and what we're about to do. It's very similar similar to what Alejandro did, but he made a small mistake. Megan. Yeah. Um, you just flip the numbers and you put .001 meters to uh, let's do it this way. Uh, very few people do it that way. Let's do this. Right. It's the same thing, but um, right, right. so now this we can do. The millimeters cancel out, 
and we get 0.011 meters. Now, it's important to understand that this is very different than what Brad said, even though Brad's going to feel like it's the same thing. Okay. And we need to understand the difference. So why is it that we can multiply 11 millimeters times 1 meter divided by 1,000 millimeters, but we can't just take 11 millimeters and divide by 1,000? What is it about 1 meter over 1,000 millimeters that lets us multiply it by this? I agree with that. We have to cancel the millimeters. That's definitely true. But why is it that we can multiply by one meter over a thousand millimeters? You're definitely correct, but I want to know why this piece. Mike. I agree we have the term conversion factor, but I need to understand why it is that this we can use. We can actually multiply by this. Rachel? Because it's like multiplying by one. It's like multiplying by one. We don't even need to say like it is. It's multiplying by one. If you come back to this, Equation 1,000 millimeters equals 1 meter. If we divide both sides by 1,000 millimeters, we get 1 is equal to 1 meter divided by 1,000 millimeters. In other words, 1 meter over 1,000 millimeters is 1. And you can multiply any number by 1, and you're fine. That's something we can do. We can't just divide by 1,000. We need to multiply by one, a conversion factor, which equals one. Great. Let's do another one. 4.2 4.2 centimeters converting to meters. 4.2 centimeters converting to meters. So we start with 4.2 centimeters, and what do we do with that? Ben Slambrough. Centimeters, class? Yeah. I, I know it's early in the, in the school year, but yes, it's 100 centimeters per meter. So again, one meter equals 100 centimeters, so this is like multiplying by one. And centimeters cancel out. We get 0 0.042 meters. Good. 17 grams converting to kilograms. 17 grams converting over to kilograms. Uh, Susan? Um, you would multiply 17 grams times uh, 1 kilogram over 1,000 grams. 1,000 grams. There you go. <laughs> Okay, grams cancel out, and we get 0 0.017 kilograms. Good. Fourteen meters per second converting over to kilometers per hour. Fourteen meters per second converting to kilometers per hour. Fourteen meters per second. Please convert 14 meters per second to kilometers per hour. Um, Ashley. So notice what we've been doing all along is we're canceling out one dimension and therefore we keep another one. So we're doing the same thing here. Now we've canceled out meters and we have kilometers on the top. So now we have kilometers per second. Our goal is to get to kilometers per hour. Actually. Okay, then I'd multiply it by
should we convert it to minutes first? We are going to often enough convert between seconds and hours that it's very useful to know how many seconds are in an hour. So class, how many seconds in an hour? 3,600 3, seconds in an hour. So yes, you can go back and forth between seconds and hour. Okay, 3,600 seconds over one hour. 3,600 seconds over one hour. Notice seconds cancel out. So notice she needed seconds on the top because in the original, seconds were on the bottom so that they will cancel out. So we now have what is left is kilometers and hours. So 14 meters per second equals? Here I should be hearing the happy pitter pattern of calculators that are finally getting to do some calculator calisthenics after a hiatus over the summer. I give you an opportunity to use your calculator to make sure your calculator knows what it's doing. If you recall, I did mention in the syllabus, one of the daily expectations is that you have a calculator that you bring it to class. Because you want to make sure that your calculator knows what it's doing on a quiz or a final exam. You don't want to be trying to push the buttons on the calculator and the calculator just spits at you and says, I'm in radio mode. Ah. For example. All right. Fifty point four kilometers per hour is the answer. You're all going to stand for that? You are all going to stand for that? You would all rest on an incorrect answer? Is that? Is it five point zero four kilometers per hour? It is not five point zero four kilometers per hour. Of course, no. Why are you changing? What's, what's the goal here? Significant digits. We have an issue with significant digits. How many sig figs does the problem start with, Mr. Carpenter? Two. Two. Okay. So how many should we end with, Carpenter? Two. Two. Tina, <coughs> you are correct that it rounds to 50. But Tina, 50 has how many sig figs? One. One. Okay. So 50.4 has three. We do need to round, but unfortunately 50 has one sig fig. We need to be able to illustrate 50 with two sig figs. Grisha? Uh, 5.0 times 10 to the first. 5.0 times 10 to the first kilometers per hour is illustrating 50 with two sig figs. You can't remember to put the little dot here because that dot's going to disappear very easily. So you need to do 5.0 times 10 to the first kilometers per hour. 